Hi everyone, welcome in the video part number 4 of Oracle Real Application Cluster 19C Lab Setup. So let's check what we have done so far. Yeah, we can see here what they have, that we have here um, our plan. So we have done so far, I think, for three points. We are right now reached to the disk preparation for Oracle Software Binary. So I segregate between the operating system disk and uh, Oracle Software disk because in case of this uh, disk get full from Oracle logs or any reason, we can fix the issue without affecting the operating system. So this is the main goal why I segregate between the operating system disk and and the Oracle binary disk. So let's go ahead to the um, to the virtual machine uh, Oracle Linux uh, 8.5 and uh, get this uh, disk format and prepared and ready for Oracle installation. I am right now in the operating system in Oracle Linux, which is the first node. Let's check what we have available. Of course, you need you need to have a, a root uh, user to um, format the disk. So or a sudo user but here i'm using root so let's do lsplk let's list what we have available disk we can see here we have two disks the first one is 25 gb which is for the operating system and we have sdb which is empty there is no any mount point for this one and it's not used for lvm so let's proceed and try let me just first clear the screen let's first format the disk where you can use if disk dash div sdb like this and then we can create new and then we can hit uh, the default just press enter enter and enter again and enter again then we have created the first partition with full size as 40 gb you can see here with the full size of 40 gb now i will try just to uh print print out using p just to show we can see here the type and uh, the label of this uh, type is linux we need to change it just put t and then hit enter then uh, try to write e 8 e which is in hex it will change it from linux to linux lvm label it as linux lvm type okay then we print again p and then we can see here that we have linux lvm type now we can write the change to the disk okay by hit w and enter let me right now clear the screen so we have format this disk and it's ready so let's create a physical volume bv create uh, div sdb1 nice so bvs this list the available physical volumes we can see the partition one is right now a physical volume so we can create a volume group vg vg create i will name it aura vg and then i will give it the physical volume like this and hit enter so let's list vgs we can see here the vgs list for us this volume group which have free space is 40 gb so right now we can create a logical volume lv create nice then we can uh, assign uh, the aura vg and then i will give a name u01 then i will give the total all the free space for this uh, logical volume uh, yes yep so the logical volume is created let us right now do this i clear the screen so right now we need to make file system make fs then extension for txt4 then dev mabar aura and then i will create a file system for this uh, logical volume which is extension 4 nice now so let us just go to the vim then we need to edit the fs tab so inside the fs tab we need to put this one uh, let me just remove this one yeah you can see here we will cre we will use this one and make this mount point the file system type is extension 4 and i'm using default uh, configuration for this uh, um, amount and then i give 00, zero as a default uh, configuration so let me just uh, save and exit from here
now we need to make directory called u01 if it's not exist i think it's there already i created but if it's not you need to create this one now we have everything is set so we right now let's do the uh, disk free minus uh, gh we can see here that we don't have a u01 let me just say grip like this u01 it's not there so let's mount right now u01 it will uh, it should automatically uh, mount it yeah right now let's check again we can see here that we have a 40 gb free space and it's mount uh, we can see here and also it will be automatically mount once we boot because we add it to the fs tab so that's it so i have i have done the video and this task uh, so see you next video thank you for watching and have a good day bye